Okay, so this is now, we are now going to install a seat belt into our six across seat. Uh, the seat belt has already been removed. Um, and I'll just bring you over to the components that make up the, the parts uh, for the seat belt. Okay, so we have the seat belt itself, which works on a 45 degree 90. So we'll show you how to insert that. We have the outer sash guide, which is this. And we have a little step bush. And if you can see closely, the step bush is, has got a flat side. When this gets inserted onto the outer sash guide, it needs to be inserted. So the flat is in lined up with the inner curve. And the reason for that is the inner curve is the front of the seat and the flat needs to slide in here when it locates. Okay, by finding a flat area, we can put the seatbelt on a 45 degree angle to pull the seatbelt out. Hanging on to the reel itself, and then slide the seatbelt through the, sash, the steel sash guide mount by putting all the components through there. And locating the back bolt. Also with the location, it's a bit hard to see in there now, um, there is some pins in the little holes. Okay, so as we do it up, we can just do it up loosely like that for the moment and as we do it up closer, we'll then make the adjustments. So we've just inserted a flat washer and then the nylock nut. Seatbelt needs to be tight. So once we get the desired angle, which would which shall be in um, very close, you'll see that the very front part of the seatbelt should be in line with the steel bracket on the side, which is down here. Okay, and if we turn the seatbelt upside down, we should see it's very close to being square to the frame. Now with the seatbelt um, onto the bracket itself, we will now insert it into the seat. So pull enough seatbelt out. By pulling enough seatbelt out, you'll see that the reel is a little bit smaller through this section here, which will also help us get through the back of this section here. If there's too much webbing, so pull as much of this out as you possibly can, and that will help to insert it into the seat itself. There are the two M8 bolts. Just put them in loosely so that they um, find their centre. Run them up tight. Okay, and then we'll peel the cardboard. Have that sitting outwards. It needs to be on the outside of the, uh, the steel sash guide. Okay, and then what we need to do is to pull the seat belt all the way out to ensure that it hasn't twisted inside the reel on um, as we inserted the reel okay and now with the reel in there the seat belt will move fairly easy in and out which allow us to insert the outer sash guide and attach it to the inner sash guide okay put the bottom of the belt through 
the buckle through. And then we are left with just dealing with the inner sash guide and the outer sash guide. So the screw is in there. Then we put a few washers to space out the step bush. it up a few turns just to make sure it's firm and if you have a look at the bottom of the flat of the bottom of the sash guide it's level with the smiley part of the uh, inner sash guide and the curve okay so now we're ready to insert the outer sash guide into the seat via the slot so we lift it up and we can see further down there that that sash guide has got to go into the into the slot so we lift it up wiggle around to feel the to locate it and then clip it down now at this point we make sure everything around the seat belt is clean okay and the seat belt is in and then we put the top screw in and that's all that we need to do Ensure the seatbelt is working, obviously. Okay, and then we insert the screw. You could put a little bit of grease on it, you could, um, if it makes it a little bit easier. Which will help. So we're using a scumpy blade. Obviously in the workshop we use a different tool. And there we go, it's in there tight and it's, it's working. So then we'll proceed to mount up the bottom of the belt. Okay, so we're about to insert the, um, uh, the, all the belt set up down the bottom. We have a M10 bolt with a step bush, which we'll put through first. And the step bush goes inside the seat belt. And it faces the uh, step bush you can see faces the outside of the belt. Okay, and then on the inside we have four washers. So we put four M10 washers which we use as a spacer. We put the seat belt in the, um, the face, maybe sure to face the seat belt the right the way that the seat belt needs to click into. So in this particular case, the seat belt's got to go in this way so what we'll do is we'll turn that around and therefore it'll clip in correct okay and that's why if we have a look down here we can see the angle of the belt needs to clear so that's the reason why we put the spaces in there then we put another flat washer and an eye lock nut and with a 16 and a 17 millimeter spanner the 16mm spanner is the bolt side, the 17mm spanner is the nylock lock side. We'll proceed to doing it up. Okay, so now with all the uh, bolts done up for the seat belts, um, we'll screw the cushion back on. There is four screws to hold the bottom of the cushion on. Sometimes you can undo the seat belt without um, actually removing the cushion is a bit of a task so that's why we prefer to remove the cushion first. Now to insert the cushion we have four screws they go through these T-nuts positions in the uh, timber. The important thing is is not to screw each screw up tight as you do it. Put them all in loosely and then tighten them up after. And this will allow the cushion to move around a little bit to locate in the other holes. 